What up, y'all? What up? I wish we had video. Of 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 back in the day. Of our time, yeah, like of us, our time. I wish we had social media in our time. You wish we had social media. Oh. Not so much social media, but I wish we just had something that we could, you know what I'm saying? The way we could record, these kids can do, they'll go back years from now and be able to look back on video when they was, you know what I'm saying? I'll be showing Josiah stuff and he's, and he just freezes and he's looking at it like, what is that me? That's me. And it's like, yeah. Yeah. What up, y'all? What up? It is um, time for us to begin this program, this here program. Time. And uh, that's Quest. I call him a lot of stuff. I say New Questament, but I actually call him J Quest. Yeah, I call him a lot of stuff. Only respect, only respectable stuff, though. Never disrespectful. <laughs> hey, just don't call me late for dinner. Oh gosh. Yeah, don't call me late for that. <sighs> Especially when oxtail and rice and peas is on the table. Don't. You and, hungry, bro? And dumpling. Oh, you hungry? I think I just started. They get hungry just because I don't think that saying had anything to do with rice and peas and dumpling and whatever else he said. Wild I'm, food I'm, and I'm, I'm planting, not the hard fried one though. You know the soft. Oh, you like that? So we oh. could we can win because I'll take I'll take the tostones and you can take oh uh, the maduro the wet joint. I don't yeah. I don't get yeah. down with the wet joint. Yeah, and not 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 soft where you know you not like this just break apart. Yeah, no, no not like that. <laughs> not like that. Not uh, like, uh, uh, but just the, enough. Not too hard. Yeah, not yeah. Just just right. Uh, yeah. Okay. And then a nice glass, tall, a tall ice cold glass of sorrow. <sighs> I think when I'm done tonight, I'm gonna go get some of that. Yeah. I got a meeting at. I got a meeting at church. I think I'll slow down and go get me some. Uh, we 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 just opened up a spot. Not even five minutes from here, Jamaican lady, just opened up a spot called Word. uh the Jerk Joint. The jerk joint. The Pepper jerk word. joint. Word. Yeah. The food is decent. Food is yeah. decent. Yeah. But so, you, you got that American chicken though, bro. Yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah, we do. What I hear is the fall different. The fall Some different. Here. The fall different, B. Mm. The fall is different. But at least you could get something though. That's I, cool. I get a little That'd something. Too. We get a little something. Yeah. So we're going to begin in a moment. And when we sound like we know what we're talking about, it's because yeah. we kind of do. And uh, that means the program has begun, and uh, we'll try to drop some jewels on you. Yeah. And let you go, man. We're not going to keep you all day, because that no. wouldn't be right. No. Yeah. No. So uh, if you're ready, Quest, I'm ready. I'm ready. Okay. Yo, you know what? You know, I just, I just remember what it is. I know what it is now. What? When you just did that, because I'm like, who does Quest remind me of sometimes? <laughs> Chip. Gaines. Chip Gaines? Who's Chip Gaines? The dude you went down to the silo to see. Oh, Chip Gaines. Oh, Chip is a flamingo. It, 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 yeah, I, I can see that. Yo, the dude, yo, they were about to do a, a, a re renovate a, a houseboat. Mm -hmm. the, I was watching it with some. You Simone. know that's my dude, and right? Son jumped in. I know. So son jumped in the water. No, no, he, he, his boy bet him that he couldn't walk across this thing like he had the balance. Yeah. And then he fell in the lake. Mm -hmm. And this dude is showing a house. He stripped down to his underpants. Yeah. And he's showing the house like nothing's going on. Nothing. Like he's just walking around like he took all of it off and laid it out. And his wife is like, are you for real, bro? Yo, you could do that. He's kid like, I'm not even thinking yeah. about it. Yo, when you got Chip Gaines money. <laughs> And you can do whatever you want to do. <laughs> Them jokers is about to get a network. <laughs> Son, the dude jumped in with the iPhone in his pocket. Like, oh. he's like, oh, that's not going to work anymore. I'm oh. like, what? Yeah, you know why? Because he can go right over to the Verizon store or whoever is carrying. Be like, <laughs> I need another, another one, please. <laughs> you got one of these in stock? Hey, when your new one comes, send it to insurance. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, I, I got it. I've been wondering for, for a couple of years. I'm like, yeah. my man reminds yeah. me of somebody oh, yeah. I know, but yeah. I don't know. He's flamingo all day, every day. And yeah, then he that's <sighs> okay. Yeah. So uh, quiet on the set.
are we talking about today? What up, what up, what up, what up? It's your boy, Quest, the host with the most. And welcome to another edition of The Marriage. <laughs> Ain't for suckers. <laughs> podcast <laughs> with my man, my mellow, my co-host, my mellow, my man, ladies and gentlemen, L. David Harris. <laughs> and MC. What up, though? Oh, what's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? Yeah. What's up? Guess what? <laughs> yeah. Class is in session. Yeah, no doubt. Class is in session i don't even want to waste no time i want to big up big up i want to big up yeah, yeah. Excuse, excuse me for those who are used to me being american i'm just gonna switch over to my jamaican roots real quick and take my time and big up big up the whole of the jamaica junior athletes who won 85 Dang. counted eight five medals at the carifta games 2019 yeah, let me just read it real quick, D. Team Jamaica won a total of 82 medals and set two championship records at the 48th annual Carifta Games at the Truman uh, uh, Bowdoin Sports Complex in Cayman, right? Yeah. That happened on the 20th to the 22nd of this month. The 82 Jamaican Junior Athletics team secured the... Um, championship title for the 35th consecutive year and 43 times in the game's 48 year history. Yeah. Jamaica's 85 medals include 36 gold, 33 silver and 16 bronze compared to the 82 medals won in 2018 and 86 medals won in 2017. Yeah. yeah like Henry Lays on a better lookout. We are come for come bundong the place. Oh, yeah, man. Mm -hmm. uh, yo, junior sprint queen Brianna Williams was named the 2019 Austin Sealy Award winner, which she also earned in 2018 for her outstanding performances, winning the 100 meter, 200 meter, and the 4 by 100 meter for the second consecutive year. Yep. And she becomes just the sixth athlete in the 48 year history of the Carifta Games to earn back to back Austin Sealy Award as the uh, game's most outstanding athlete. Yo, when? I'm just trying to tell you, yo, we run things. Things not run we. And that miss it. All right. Well, now that you've said that, I think it's very clear. Yeah. Yeah. So I want to just, you know what I'm saying, for real, big up all the, you know what I'm saying, uh, um, the, the, the Jamaican uh, track athletes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I see you, fam. I see you. I see you. Y'all better ask. Ask somebody, man. Ask somebody. Yeah. Words up, words up. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Words up. Yo, words with more than one word? Oh, you mean words up. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Yo. You, know, you know we tear stuff up in a minute. Yo, I'm not going to say it. Words up, words up. <laughs> Yo, it kill me. No diss, but it kill me when I do. That's my people, man. I ain't mad. It's my people. Free trip back, yo. The dude's yep. been trying to blend in back. You ain't been home in 15 years, man. Yeah. And I'm like, I see you. Yeah. I see you, bro. Yeah. I see you. Yeah, I see you. I know. <laughs> we I get all them chains from. Ain't nobody around here running all them chains. You, you already know. We get all them chains from, bro. You already know, my friend. Uh, you got. Yes. Yeah. What you, where you get that at? <laughs> <laughs> they don't sell that. They don't sell out here, man. They don't sell out here. here. <laughs> That's my people. Yo, stop. Yo, yo stop poppy show my people, man. That's my people. I'm just talking about the ones that get the free trip back. Come <laughs> <laughs> you meet your people. Yo, stop poppy show my people, your yo. People straight. <laughs> <laughs> yes, indeed. Well, not too much to talk about on this side, man. Um, yeah. I am loving. Um, the way that Faith and I are just like intentional and deliberate about some of the things that we do in terms of our marriage to get better. We uh, have been a part of a book club now for roughly a little bit over a year. I'd say about a year and three months. A book club? And, yeah, a book club for marriage, for married couples. Um, we keep it nice and intimate. Um, it's probably about 12 or 13 couples right now. We drink tea? 
Uh, we no, we actually eat, you know, dinner together, and oh, if you we 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 drink, you know, we yeah, the tea is there though. If you want tea, tea is there. Yeah, no, 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 no. My <laughs> yeah, no, no. All right, I'm gonna let it go, man. You know, fire, move up. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry after that. I'm, 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 yeah, I'm chilling, man. I'm just saying it's Move up. Move up. It sounded interesting. You said we was in the book club. I was like, Boss, we, no, just to the book clubs. I like book club. I got yeah. books. Yo, information changes situations. But me know of this right here. We don't do that. I'm talking about tea and crumpets. No, my whole my cup so. Okay. Carry this on. How, yeah. I, I will not interrupt you anymore. <laughs> That's how I hold my cup. But yeah, man. Shouts out to, um, like, for real, Will and Tamika Green, who um, really started this club, man. We're currently reading, or I'm rereading, because I read the book already, Love and Respect. By, uh, yeah, yeah. Dr. Egerix. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, boy. Yeah, real, real, real good book, man. Um, and for real, that, that might be, I don't know if they have an audio book for that, uh, D, but we might want to refer that one today. Um, yeah. Yeah, and here's the funny thing: it it's you know the book is good if it stings you, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's doing a little bit of stinging right now, yeah, and they feeling it. And right. so, um, yeah, I know it's a good book, um, but yeah, uh, we 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 like it because we're coming home and we're having conversations about the stuff that we read, you know what I'm saying? Um, and not just having conversations, but learning what it means to implement it as we operate with with one another so yeah man shouts out to faith man word yep even the kids are looking keep forward the to faith. the club now because the kids the come faith. with us and they all meet together and go off in another oh, part of the house okay. and so yeah the kids are doing their own thing wherever and all the couples are it's really a family affair i forgot y'all um, got them southern homes y'all oh, got, yeah, no. got wings yeah we got wings so go yeah man that. yeah shouts out to will and tamika green man um, who are doing a phenomenal job, who are also business partners of mine. Um, 2019, yep, for those of you who are in the Charlotte area, please do believe that, uh, yeah, May 18th, we are doing the marriage tune-up. You know what I'm saying? Like, for real, uh, 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 D, one of the things that we do, man, we we do marriage, and and then on top of that, we don't... What's the word I'm looking for? We We, we really don't do tune-up. You've never been to... A marriage conference. You haven't gone to. Uh, I see. Mm-hmm. Read a book on marriage. You know what I'm saying. You haven't. You, you know how you, you don't change the oil on your truck every three to five thousand miles and see what happened to you. I wouldn't have two hundred eighty thousand miles on it right now. Uh, I'm just that. telling you. I know that you change the oil if you got two eighty. And some of us are not having two eighty on our marriage. And some in- marital engines went pow and just blew up. Yeah, because you didn't perform maintenance. So there it is, D. Yep, y'all already see it. 20- wow. Yep, right there. No. I'm a, I don't really want to be back. But yeah. at the same time, I do be like, dang, man, like I'm missing out. Like, yeah, yeah. we yeah. can't really run like that. Yeah, yeah. Don't, don't worry, man. I, what, 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 we, what I plan to do over the next year or two is really firm up a foundation where we're able to do some things, man. Yep telling you i'm trying to put myself in a position don't worry and we're going to teach couples how to make your money work for you and not you for the money word up you mm-hmm. know what i'm saying so yeah man that's what we plan to do in this next new year so we could be in the room and really black out you feel me so yeah man for for those of you who want to be in the house if you're in the charlotte area you want to be in the house for when we do that uh that 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 seminar that workshop man that marriage tune-up yep go to greenhouse effects g-r-e-e-n-h-o-u-s-e-e-f-x dot bright dot com i got you yep okay yep yep Full yep <laughs> yes indeed so what's good on the harris side fam yeah, man, I'm good, man. I'm good. You know, life is life, as I always say. I as gotta, always. Man, it's rough sometimes, yep. but it could be worse, man. Are you kidding me? So, uh, Really and truly. Listen, man, the lights are on. I got, some, I got two tanks of water. You know, you get to appreciate the simple stuff, man. The simple things. And if they switch off the pipe, I'm not going to, uh, you know, I got more than a week. Yep. Before I start losing my mind, like where the water at? <laughs> you know, if you don't understand, y'all don't understand. But for those who do, do the knowledge. You understand it. So, yeah. Apart from that, man, my life is simple, man. I just just doing what I gotta do, man. Wifey still love me. The little dudes loving me more and more every day. So, oh, 
you, what else can I ask for, man? What What more you want, B? What Real more talk, you want? like, yo, we did our program yesterday, and you were not going to do a jump off of a similar topic, right? Come on, come on. But yesterday we did the program, and she was like, as we're getting ready, she she and Quest are like cousins. I'm gonna okay. just say that. Mm -hmm. So you know, I'm I'm framing the thing up so I can hit the button so we can go on, right? Mm -hmm. And then I'm almost there, and it framed up finally. And then she want to move the chair, hitch up, pump, and run into my chair. And I'm like, what you doing? She's like, we're not close enough. I, I'm like, the chair is already. I, oh, you want to be closer. Yes. Do you? Yes. All right. Yes. I ain't mad. Because mm, there's a lot of women that don't want to be closer to their husbands. You better not be mad. There's yeah, something wrong with me if I'm mad. Yes, indeed. So I forgot all about the timing and me trying to frame the thing and all that. I was like, okay, okay, okay. Closer. I like closer. So apart from that, whatever. Whatever. We good. Whatever. We good. Yeah, man. Well, Sue, man, let's jump into it. But before we do, you know what we got to do. Shout out Breathe University. When you want to succeed as bad as you want to breathe, <sighs> then you will be successful. You already know that Breathe University is the brand new e-learning platform led by Dr. Eric Thomas. And inside BU, you get access to Eric Thomas along with all of his proven tools, strategies, and resources. Mm -hmm. You need to jumpstart your greatness in one convenient location. You already know it's the community of, I'm sorry, it's the family of learners and learning. Um, upcoming events outside of the one that we have, the Marriage Tune-Up in uh, on May 18th, Coming up before that, though, in Chicago, that's actually this weekend, April 26th, is the 1% Club. Start towards achieving the 1% life. Like, for real. Mm. Uh, the, the stuff that he's dropping um, in these conferences, man, he's just basically sending the message that, you know what I'm saying, the 1% is the life that very few people get to experience. Um it's the Michael Jordans and Oprah Winfrey's of the world that live the 1% life. It's the pinnacle Tiger of success. Woods, boy. Oh, come on. Come on. Yep. It, 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 when you never give up. Yeah. Know? Yo, let me, let, yeah. Shots Be out to, to, yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm never really one to, to, to really talk bad about, uh, but my man, yeah, Stephen A. Yeah. He got a lot of mouth. They bad talked my man. They said X, Y, and Z about yeah, him, man. how he should leave golf. I love that. The, it's all the, over. He's washed uh, up. Oh, I love it. And then my man, yep, just walked away with another green jacket in addition to the many other green jackets that he has. So, yeah, <laughs> shots out to him, man. But, yeah, man, uh, in this life, you don't have to choose between money, happiness, or family. Really and truly, you can possess it all. You're living every aspect of the American dream without compromise. Um, uh, like, for real. That's key. And let, me, and let me say this too, D. You should attend if you're amongst the 80 percentile of people in the world who are simply not winning and you're not experiencing what you think you should experience. Um, and it's also for uh, those of you who made it to the 20 percent lifestyle and you're experiencing some level of success, but you're not experiencing success on your own terms. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. A, so in other words, you might be a millionaire, but you put too much time into work. You're successful, yeah. but uh, you're not winning on your own terms and not winning the way you want to. Yeah, you should be there as well. But I'm telling you, some of the information that my man is dropping. And it's not guesswork, man, when you're talking about E, man. No, it's not guesswork. We're talking about 25 years of grind and balancing and shifting and being cut and shaped and formed and not just in one area. I'm telling you, everything that I'm able to do in marriage is because he taught me early in the game. Yo, I want to say something, man, because I, I really, I, I'm not going to go into all of that, but here's the thing. Whenever, I think, I don't know if it was you or somebody else that we are cool with, said yeah. something about E being number one or number three. I don't remember what, one of them top numbers. Yeah. <laughs> motivational speakers in the world. It's not that I don't personally think he is that in my own mind, mm -hmm. but I did not know that was the case objectively. And so I heard it and I was like, I know my man's gift set, but I, man, I Googled it, man. I couldn't everywhere. I looked for a motivational speaker objectively. My brother was topping the charts and I'm looking at this like, word it is the fullness d of what happens when you walk and talk with god straight up 
That's all it could be. Right up. Because some people think that my man is dope just because of what he does in terms of. Evil. Okay, right. let me just say this to you. And he will tell you himself he was a high yeah. school dropout. Yep. Right? You know that. That's number yep. one. Didi convinced him early in the game to go and get his GED because when she went down to Oakwood, she was just like, I'm not doing long distance. So either you come with me or this is over. And my man was like, I already know. I don't know too much about college, but I already know that if she go to college, I'm going to lose her forever. Yeah, yeah. And so my man went, got his GED and got in the van with her moms and went down there with a bike. Mm -mm. And he took him 12 years to get a four year degree. Yeah. God told him to pick up and move and go back to Michigan, went back to Michigan, got a master's from uh, Michigan State, right? And it took him a little bit longer to get his doctor, but he got the doctorate. And my man don't even like school like that. Clearly. They don't like school he like that, but he there's he a... No, he don't. Oh, yeah. come on. He has more... There's a, a the word uh, that's, that's practic practical, you know, knowledge. Yeah, man. And then in addition to that, like my man has been walking and talking with God for over 20 years. Well, it's clear. I, I'm not going to front, man. I, I'm not going to front. I usually don't have a lot of a lot to say about brothers and sisters who are doing well, except, well, they're doing well. Yeah. But I, I can pause for a little while and, and, and thank God, man, like the, the brother's not just doing well. I mean, uh -huh. you know that there's something special going on and the yeah. Lord is in it, man. That's, that's all I'll say, man. That's just all I can say. And I work close with the dude almost every day. It's so, yeah, Lord you know bless. What I'm saying? When, when we talking about and strategizing and do it like, okay, he'll tell me, all right, do this, do this and do this. And it's just now my responsibility to carry those things out. And because I don't want to disappoint my man, I go and make sure it happens. Why? Because there's so much that he already has on his shoulders and so many things that he is to so many different people. Right. And now he's showing me like, okay, good. I need you to take this and turn this over because once you do this and turn this over, you're going to be able to do X, Y, and Z for other people as well. It's almost like the exponential effect, man. Yeah. Duplication, oh. man. I saw Jorge the other day in the, on the move with the 1% flow and I'm like, oh, duplication. I see what's going on here. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Word. So yeah, man. So yeah, man. Jamal is now schooling me to the real estate part of the game, which is going, which is what we talked about. Uh, and he's one of the three speakers, Tiffany Montgomery, Jamal King, E.T. Yeah, man, let me just say this and then we'll leave it here. If you have not gone to a 1% club event, you, yeah, you need to be there straight up. So that brings us to our topic, really. Yeah. Uh, it's not, it's not flippant talk, really. Yeah. Um, Simone and I did the jump off yesterday, but of course, when the two brothers are together, it's a, a, a sort of a different f feel, right? Yeah. So the yeah. topic is no exclamation point. Yep. And what no means is that um, there is so much good to do. And I'll just pick good. I'm not even going to talk about negative stuff and things we shouldn't be doing at all, Quest. Yeah. Right? So much good to do. Yep. But there is but so much time we have in our lives, space that we have to where some of that good would negatively impact our families and our marriages in particular. And so learning how to say no at the appropriate times mm -hmm. and for the appropriate reasons is going to be key, especially for gifted people. I'm not going to talk about any dysfunction today. I'm not going to talk about any neediness, parasiticalness, having to hear somebody tell you you're great. That's why you put too much on your plate. None of that. Just well-intending people mm -hmm. who are generally healthy-minded. And when those opportunities, and we're talking about good opportunities, not bad opportunities, negative opportunities, good opportunities are knocking on your door. And there's a time when there are just too many of them for your marriage to continue to be healthy. And you have to learn how to say, N-O. Uh -huh. Because I just don't have that kind of space left. Yeah. Yeah. So, so, so I want to back up because, where is it? Yeah. One of the things that you learn when you go to the conference is dealing with no like a one percenter. <laughs> you see? Back in the day when we were indulging in, and here's the funny thing, truth is truth. And it extends through so many, even when you're not doing stuff you ain't supposed to be doing, truth is still truth. Mm -hmm. 
um, when we was doing the little, you know, dipping our hands, trying to make a dollar and some stuff that we probably didn't have no business dealing our hands with, right? Um, there's a saying on the block when you hustling, every dollar ain't a good dollar. Every dollar is not a good dollar. I can tell you that. Every dollar ain't a good dollar. You, you understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. For those of you, for, for, for the dudes who on the block, you know what I'm saying, trying to make a dollar out of 15 cents, you know that you have your customers and that one dude or one chick who come along who looking at, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't the one dude who, who don't understand that principle is the one that get knocked and on the first offense serving the three to five for illegal distribution. Peace out. I'll see you. I'll see, uh, 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 I'll see you in September. If, if you boy, behave. Uh, how your boy say, I'll be gone till November. I'll see mm -hmm. you then. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like for real. And so the, it, while, while, while the situation is not a favorable situation or something that we should be doing, th the principle or the idea is still true. Every dollar is not, every opportunity is not a good opportunity. What even profit if, is, even if Even if objectively it's not. What Bad. does it, what does it, the, the word declares it, what does it profit a man to gain the whole world and mm -hmm. lose his soul, his children, his home, his wife, and everything else in the process? And in losing them, you're going to lose everything else right behind it. <laughs> you know how many times people will say, okay, Quest, we want you to do X, Y, and Z here. I'm already running this department for, I'm already running my own business. I'm already, we doing our podcast. I'm already doing these conferences with anything else outside of this, I got to leave it alone. No more space. There's, there's no more space for me to do anything. If you look at my calendar now, I be, used to tell God, like, God, I, I don't got enough to do. I got enough to do now. I don't need nothing else. My bad. <laughs> you know why? Because then my wife, yo, when I'm in here doing sessions, even Faith will come back behind my screen, bro, and she'll be just like this. Bro, let's go. It's been an hour, right? And anything over the hour, you really need to charge. I mean, she don't, they don't hear her. She'll just stand behind the screen and I'm like this. And she's like, mm -mm. because she's so structured. Mm -mm. And because I, but you know what? You know what though? She's looking out for her best interest. Yeah. And she's looking out for her best interest because I'm, and sometimes I'm wondering like, why you don't ever talk to your son like that or anybody else like that? Guess what? Because I can't become one with my son. And you taking it the wrong way at that one moment. At that one moment anyway. Uh, at that point, I hope she ain't listening to the podcast. Well, it's too late now, bro. But that... Keep that, the, keep the that, faith. Yeah. I, if, but faith, I promise you, you use this term, we're going we gonna to have problems. But at that point, I would be in my feelings. Oh, Quest. You could have thought of another way. You knew you were going to do it. You could have thought... Knew, of I, I did. I, I, but I... Yeah. Because that, that phrase is so apropos. It's just who using it in the context in which they use it, it ain't dope. I you will never say it's, it. To yeah, you. it's disrespectful. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like if I'm sharing with you, then I could, I could yeah, let up. me use it on me. Use up. Yeah, because I know how to use it on me. You don't use it on me though. You know what I'm saying? And then with, with your, oh, uh, yeah, yeah, you know, your <laughs> wife, oh, uh, you ain't nothing but a, oh, uh, use, up. use mm. a jelly back. Oh, uh, <laughs> uh, mm. yeah. So, so yeah. Uh, 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 um, for real, at that point, I would have been in, in, you know what I'm saying, in my feelings. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But the truth of the matter is, um, oh man, I just lost my thought, D. I was just, I was just in No, it. no, because the, re the real talk, like for the moment, you might be what you just said. Yes. But really, she's looking out for you and for her. She's not, she's not getting in your space. She's not playing you. She, she helping. No. I, it, you my priest. They're not my priest. You my provider. They're not my provider. Right. So yeah. I have to make sure that, and every time you go over that time, what you do is you rob us either from our finances or you are allowing people to rob us of our finances or our time. Man, double. Double. And or, I should say. Mm. Yeah. Word. So. That was clear. So I have to be able sometimes to say, no, I can't take that opportunity on. No, I can't take that session. Yeah. No, I cannot do that conference. Like there, there, there's, we have some dates on our calendar. She makes sure she puts all of them there. Like Nico's 
And she's just as much as she is about this relationship. She's a mother. Yeah. She's about her children too. Yeah. And we have a camping trip coming on, which is the same weekend as my inaugural ride for my club. Am I going to the to ride? I sure am. But guess what? I am going to do too. You're going to be riding to that camping trip. <laughs> okay. You're going to be riding your, to the camping trip. But Hope I will be on, on that bike. camping. You better believe. <laughs> now I may leave a little bit early on Sunday. Yeah. And she's cool with that. As opposed to not going at all. We're going Friday. I'll be there all day Friday. Mm-hmm. All day Sabbath. Sunday. I'll probably leave out early and come home a little bit earlier than they would. So I meet both my, but if, if it was in any way a conflict where the two were just running, yeah, guys, on the bike. I, know it, I know it's the uh, uh, inaugural ride, but I can't. I can't. Fa- family first. You, you, okay. Yeah. Send okay. me the GoPro video. <laughs> okay. For real. Yeah. For real. You, 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 my man said it this morning, like we were in school and we were always wondering when, when am I ever going to use algebra or you know what I'm saying? Like it was, it was funny just to hear him explain it today because we all had that thought, like numbers and letters, like when are we, what, whatever life situation are we ever going to use that in? But you know what? I'm using it right now because the same way that we had to work through an order of operations, a formula, ah, a formula in algebra is the same way that we have to work with a formula as it relates to life. You can't do things out of order and expect to get the end result that you're looking for. Right. You feel me? So yeah, I gotta say no. Yeah. Well, I don't have much to add to that. You know, I could tell you a bunch of stories very similar, but the bottom line is if you don't understand those two letters, whether it's the man or the woman, because women often literally don't know how to say no because they're so helpful by nature. And remember, I'm talking all the positive stuff. I'm not talking about your crazy people. I'm not talking about your people with a lot of dysfunction, it's unresolved issues. And I'm talking about people that by and large are the people that we are with on a regular. Like our spouses are good to go and wifey is going to be very helpful. And sometimes, I won't say to a fault, but sometimes to the expense of her health, her time, her energy, because person X, person Y, family X, family Y needs fill in the blank, right? So... I think all of us need to just help each other in our marriages to know when enough is enough. Hmm? And for the sake of longevity, because you can run hard, but for so long. That's the bottom line. I mean, you do that, but what do you miss in the process? I've heard of people say that their children grew up. I forgot what the phrase, what the, what the saying is like grew up right in front of me or something like they missed it, even though they were there. I forgot what it's called. Uh, Yeah. Something like that. Yeah. And that's the reason why last year I had that breakthrough with faith that I did. Mm -hmm. She was like, yo, you spending time with the kids, but it's not enough. And you spend a lot more time in that office thinking about what's happening and what's not happening and how this is going to work out. And, and flesh and blood didn't reveal that to her because that's exactly what I was thinking. But I had no, I didn't articulate that to anyone, no one. Mm-hmm. And she shot it right back at me. Yeah. Right. And so she was like, in so many words, she didn't say it word for word, but talking as a mother, because at the time she you know, laid into me, she wasn't talking as my wife. She was talking as a mother and she knows firsthand what it is for a parent to say they're going to do something with you and then don't do it to say they're going to show up somewhere and then don't show up. She loves to see me with the children, loves it. Right. And so what she did was she didn't, in so many words, she said, I don't want our children to grow up saying, Oh, my father was a hard worker and he had a dope really, he really loved my mom, but we didn't have any relationship with him because he only had time for work and relationship with mom. Mm-hmm. Word. So the watch word for today is no, but it uh, it is an appropriate no. Mm. And, and I, we're I to help one another understand what that is. Mm-hmm. I think it's more so for us too. Perhaps. Perhaps. Yeah. So thank you all for joining us. And <laughs> uh, yeah, that's my dude over there, man. I, I can't think of a lot of brothers that I would run with on this particular 
kind of subject matter, man. Because a lot of cats take marriage light. Not into that. Mm-mm, I'm not into it either, bro. I'm coming up on 18 years, man. Not because I take it light. So Lord bless us. Yeah, and I don't take it like a God don't take it light. Or no. yeah. There you go. Yeah, man. So thank you for joining us, y'all. So everybody who's listening, hold fat. I mean, see y'all later. I mean, what do you say? Talk to you later. Yeah. And uh, for everybody who's watching, hold fast for one second. Yep. And uh, then we'll let you go. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Holla at your boy. Stay focused. All right, y'all. <laughs> yeah. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, let Quest go, and I'm going to switch this fan on in here because it is quite hot. Hold up. I know it's hot here today. It's 83 here today, so I know. Oh, isn't that nice? It's so nice. It's so nice. Good for so you. So nice. Yeah, man. We get a taste of what you have every year. Word. So I'm going to hold on to this for the next couple of months. Word up. I'm going to get Julie next week and East Indian from right out there. So. Yeah. And uh, Apple down there. Yeah. A star. A star. Yeah. No, we, don't have star. we don't have star Apple in our yard, but we have OTET. Like, old, old oh, okay. Well, Jamaican yeah. Apple. Yeah, because you, you have to specify because when no, you man, say no. Apple, they think in Granny Smith. They think it. No, no, no. American no, no, Apple. No, 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 no. no, no, no. American Apple. Except no, 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 I, I no, no. I don't buy, no. I don't buy it. none at all. It's too much. I don't eat import fruits. No. For I what? don't eat import fruits, period. I, ask me why. Why would you? And I love American Apple, but I don't live in America. Be, so I eat it. Be, tell the truth. It's not better than a star or OD. I'm not saying it's better than whatever. I just don't eat them. It's not even comparable. Stop your foolishness. It's not <laughs> even comparable. Star apple. Green skin. Yo, it makes some of the sweetest juice. Purple dude. skin. Stop playing. Yo, yeah. I just we just real I just realized like two weeks ago they got a big old star apple tree at Josiah's school, bro. Come on, B. Let's go by there and just the join is huge. Yep. Anyway. Yeah, y'all. Thank you for joining us. And uh yeah. That's the new questament, and I'm me. So in a minute, we're gonna say uh, one. Uh, um, this, this is the boomerang. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Peace. Peace. <laughs>